I think the Savior in a couple of different places teaches this. He teaches becoming the children of our Father in heaven, which I think goes along with Matthew 18. One of them is Matthew 5, where he talks about be therefore perfect. That's kind of a thing we take and separate it. But if you look at the context of that, he's talking about loving our enemies. And he says, love your enemies. And he says, that you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he makes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. And then he says a similar thing in Luke chapter 6. But love your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great. And you shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be therefore merciful as your father also is merciful. So this idea of being the children of heavenly parents is about becoming like them, about being loving in the kind of way and merciful in the kind of way that they are. And I think the, the Samaritans, and the Samaritans figured it out. Yeah. The Samaritan figured out how to love the way that we love, which is taking an enemy and a Jew who might have said an unkind word to him on the street and not letting that stop him from giving him the service and the love that he deserved. And you know, the Matthew version of that story is very similar to in the Sermon on the Mount where he says, uh, love your enemies, uh, love them that persecute you for, you know, even the Pharisees love the people who love them. Uh, but if you wanna be better, love your enemies, therefore be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. So I think it's right on the same vein of part of this being perfect is showing that mercy, showing that love to those that you may not want to show love to.